support your heart to stay healthy. Hi everyone, I am Adnan Mizher Sumarmad. Here I am going to present the online course of Atlantic International University Healthy Life. The lesson number six is about heart and circulatory system. To start thinking about the heart, you have to learn the anatomy and physiology of your heart. Your heart beats 70 times per minute, thus transporting five liters of blood with saturated oxygen and nutrition. Waste and carbon dioxide are also carried away by the blood circulation. The important function of the heart, myocardium, includes ensuring blood circulation. This is done by making the blood available to all tissues in the body. The heart beats 3 billion times in life and tirelessly pumps 18 million liters of blood. To understand this function, you need to learn the basic anatomy of this type of muscle and how it works. The myocardium is divided into two sections, left and right, that separated by a tissue called cardiac septum and consists of four chapters called atriums and ventricles. There is an electrical signal that regulates and coordinates the contraction of the previous chambers of the heart. This course provides the students a basic knowledge about the heart functionality and how we can avoid diseases to gain and enjoy a healthy life. The heart works to pull the partly deoxygenated blood from superior and inferior vena cava into the right atrium. Then, with contractions called atrial kick of the atriums, the blood will move through the atrioventricular valve, that called tricuspid valve, into the right ventricle. The right ventricle pumps this amount of blood up the way to the pulmonary trunk through the pulmonary valve, also called semiluna valve, into the lungs. In the lungs, the blood is saturated with oxygen and reaches the heart via four large pulmonary veins, two from each lung, to be in the left atrium. The blood goes to full the left ventricle through the mitral valve, also called b cuspid valve, by contractions of the atriums. The left ventricle, with support of the cardiac septum muscle, contracts with a twist so can pump blood all around the body through aortic valve into aorta artery, this called cardiac twist. Therefore, the left ventricle has a bigger and stronger muscles than the right, which has to pump the blood just to the lungs and the mass muscle requested is lower. Here to remark that the valves have to ensure the fluent of the blood just in one direction. Therefore, the ventricular arterial valves are point up, the way like half moon, and sometimes called semiluna valve. But the atrioventricular valves are pointing down the way to protect 
the valves from overexpand or to overopen. These valves are supported by tendons cords. These are tissues with strength hold the valves from flapping and stopping them flapping in the opposite direction called papillary muscles. There is a fiber sac called pericardial works to provide a physical protection to the heart and made from tough tissue to prevent the heart from over expanding. The heart is allowed to expand when the blood comes to it but not over extend. Also there is an endothelial layer wall inside the heart called endocardium works to help the blood moves smoothly inside the heart. Sinoatrial is remarked as SA is a tissue that regulates and coordinates the contraction of the heart. There is a small mass of specialized tissue in the upper right atrium called sinoatrial node. This sinus node regularly creates an electrical stimulus 60 to 100 times a minute under normal conditions. The atria are then turned on. The electrical stimulation runs through the contraction pathways and causes the ventricles of the heart to contract and bump blood. In front of the ventricles, the atria are first stimulated and contract for a short time. Upshot, the electrical system of the heart that called sinoatrial node, SA node, is an electrical signal that regulates and coordinates the contraction of the various chambers of the heart. The coronary arteries left and right are the first action of the blood circulatory. To function and survive, the heart requires a continuous supply of oxygen, much like any other body tissue or organ. The coronary arteries finalize all around the heart. The coronary arteries left and right are the first circulatory arterial blood vessels that carry oxygenated blood to the heart muscle, called coronary because they look like a crown. The left one supplies the left part of the heart down to the end, while the right one covers the right section and the back of the heart. They present the first part of the blood circulation that exists directly from the aorta when the blood leaves the heart. Through the heart's systole and diastole system, through contraction and relaxation, the heart receives the best blood supply in the body. This means that the heart receives the best saturated blood through contraction and relaxation. The blood circulation has to move in the body regularly and smoothly. All of the blood can circulate in the body within a minute. Close the cycle, transport oxygen, nutrients, distribute heat, bring waste from the cells into the kidney and do something with the metabolism. The process begins with the heart relaxing step between two heartbeats. 
then the blood flows from both atria to the ventricles. At the end of the phase, both ventricles pump blood into the large arteries. As a result, oxygen-rich blood enters the capillary network through larger and smaller arteries. There, the blood releases oxygen, nutrients, and other substances are of crucial importance and removes carbon dioxide and waste. The oxygen deficient blood, approximately with 70% of oxygen, is stored in the veins and goes through the right atrium to the right ventricle. The purpose is carbon dioxide is exhaled when breathing air as oxygen-rich blood flows through the lungs into the atria and then into the left ventricle. The cycle begins and continues with the next heartbeat. A healthy heart and blood circulation means long living. Therefore, you have to protect your heart and the circulatory system. Follow these five steps to improve your health and enjoy life. Avoid smoking. Drink as little alcohol as possible. Avoid industrial drinks. Also avoid fatty foods, as well as white sugar and white bread. Regulate your diet with more fruits and vegetables and drink enough water to avoid the coronary thrombosis, which cause the myocardial infarct and other diseases. Try to do regular exercise with enough sunshine. Control your body and feeling with a stabilized personality to avoid uncomfortable situations that affect your behavior and well-being. Do your best to get a good night's sleep for six to eight hours a day. This will help your heart to recover well. Finally, try to improve your knowledge with useful information that will help you practice it with health benefits that you can add to your body as positive health resources. Here I am going to conclude. It looks very complex, but if you find yourself with an easy concept to organize your thoughts by finding the rhythm, and line up the details. Start with the first step, which automatically connects to the second. Then you can do this fluently as follows. Both atriums contracting at the same time and both ventricles contracting at the same time. An artery is any vessel carrying the blood out of the heart, while the vein is any vessel carrying the blood towards the heart. We don't want the valves to overexpand or to overopen. The four valves ensure the blood to move in one way fluently. Two of them are pointing up the way and other two pointing down the way. The heart is protected through tough tissue called pericardial sac. There is a fine inner layer of the heart called endocardium which ensure fluent of blood smoothly without any 
turbulent. With more knowledge, you can avoid coronary artery disease, arteriosclerosis, and heart attack. I therefore recommend that you continue to learn the basic of general knowledge in this second part of my online course, Healthy Living. The seventh lesson deals with the liver and digestive system of the human body. Thank you for watching and wish you further progress. Yours, Adnan Mizarasumarmad, PhD, Health Sciences, Atlantic International University. You can find my latest publications on Facebook and YouTube under name Sporty Spine, is written in one word. Thanks in advance.